Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Suno, and my god, have we had one hell of a championship Sunday. We had Lucid and APG absolutely frying the competition and putting up the numbers for their team, only to be wiped out from the finals by the one and only Cloud9. Now, there was some tension between Optic and Cloud9, a lot of tension in the Twitch chat, and some pretty funny interactions in game, although being a bit disrespectful. To find out how everything played out and more, stick around to the end of the video. Anyways guys, before we start today, I want to remind everyone that only a small percentage of you watching are actually subscribed to the channel. It would really mean the world to me if you could hit the subscribe button and help me get to 100 subscribers before the end of the year. I cover a lot of Halo content and have even more video ideas surrounding Halo upcoming in the next few days. So yeah, there's that. Let's not waste any time and jump straight into the video. Starting us off, we already know our boy Lucid signed by Optic Gaming is possibly one of, if not the best Halo Infinite Pro players in the scene right now in terms of movement and gun skill, which he clearly showed off on Championship Sunday this week, absolutely frying the competition with his teammates, the Great Pistola, APG the God, and the Tyrant Spartan Trippy. Now everything was going fine for Optic. In fact, they qualified into the winner's bracket for their first matchup against FaZe on Sunday, which definitely had some talent on its roster. One of those players being the great Eric Rona, aka Snipedown. But Snipedown and his team unfortunately didn't quite have the ability to keep momentum and hold up against Optic Gaming, eventually losing the series 3-1 Optic's way. Snipedown actually provided some insight onto his team's loss at Raleigh, which I'll make sure I'll link in the description for you guys. With Snipedown and FaZe out of the way, little did they know the fan favourite Green Wall would have to face up against one of their toughest opponents yet, Cloud9, who on Sunday actually showed out and proved all the doubters wrong who thought they wouldn't be able to put on a good performance even though they were coming off being world champions in Halo 5. But another new addition to Cloud9, Penguins would definitely have an uphill battle to fight in this upcoming match against some of Halo's greatest players. After a long and hard fought series and some absolutely amazing show of skill by both sides, it all came down to a Game 5 Slayer match. Optic managing to keep themselves in the competition after quite the team kill on Cloud9, being followed up by APG earning the win for his team 100-99 to on Oddball. Now that's just insane if you ask me, there definitely was some really hype moments this Sunday that's for sure. Both teams were then neck and neck with the winner of this next match being granted the right to move into the upper finals to face off against E United. Unfortunately as much as Optic were getting up on slays compared to C9 in the start of the final match, they just weren't capitalising on the resets eventually letting Cloud9 take over for an eventual win, with the final score being 50 to 37. Devastating for all fans of Optic I know, but exciting for all fans of Halo as we finally got to see two of the best teams in the game, Cloud9 and E United, go head to head in the final series of HCS Rally, forever etching the winning team's name in the championship yearbooks. Now, it wasn't going to be easy for Cloud9 to close this out as there definitely was some fierce competition with E United, but Cloud9 definitely showed out, wiping the floor in both series consecutively. 3 to 1 and respectively 4 to 1 of both Cloud9's way. Crowning them the official HCS Raleigh champions and earning themselves a massive sum of $140,000. Shoutouts to Cloud9 for their performance this week. It was really great to watch and even better to cover. And shoutouts to Penguins, man. I know you had a lot on your shoulders leading up to this, making this your first 4v4 major event win. And I'm sure your family, friends, and fans, including me, are more than proud of what you did this weekend. Anyways, guys, that's all we got for this video. If you're interested in checking out all the leaked maps coming to Halo Infinite in the future, click on this video now. It should be up within like an hour or two of this post. Peace.